Now then, you are joining me today on the salmon hunt. I am salmon fishing. It's in October now, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to just try and catch a nice salmon because it has been years since I've caught one. I'm well aware of the fact that the odds are stacked against me, especially on the small local river, but I'm going to try. I have lost one salmon on this river before, but it's a beautiful place. I know a couple have been caught lately, so I'm not exactly going to be whipping the dead horse. I'm going to do what I can to try catch one. So I'll talk you through what gear we're using and then we'll get fishing and get started. So my setup for the day, the rigged and ready RR3000 fixed spool spinning reel. We've gone extra heavy with the braid, well not extra heavy, pretty heavy. We've got 33 pound braid on there, just because there's a few snags on this river and I want to be able to get a fish away from them if I can. And then for the rod, we have the rigged and ready Predator in its 10 to 30 gram configuration. And I also have my extra large Savage gear net. So some of the banks are quite high on this river. I'm going to be well covered with that. Look at the length on that. And for the lure, I've just slapped on a size three, so quite a big spinner, much bigger than I use for any, any of my other like trout fishing, chub fishing, etc. So hopefully that's going to be able to get the attention of one of these salmon. So I will also say that there's an inevitability that I may hook a trout on this trip. And if I do, I'll deal with it as quickly and uh, safely as I can. So. Yeah, well, it's not going to be ideal to catch trout. It's all part of the process when you're salmon fishing um, or chub or sea trout. So it's not just salmon that's going to be on the agenda today. Right, time to settle this score once and for all. The salmon today would be a dream come true. Just the thought of it is giving me shivers. Oh, I had a bite then. Definite bite. Right under that foam. Impossible to tell you what it was, but that was a bite 100%. I dare say it felt like a nice fish too. Now, I've not caught too many salmon in my life, so I'm not sure if it's in their nature to bite twice, but I hope so, because that was a fish. Right, my salmon sense is tingling. Not that I've got much of a salmon sense. I reckon there could well be a fish just sat behind this rock. Obviously wishful thinking, but definitely worth a go. Fish, fish on, fish on. It's no big fish at all, it's just a normal trout, but we'll get it in. Well, it's a brave fish, it's not a salmon, but it has taken a salmon sized spinner. Beautiful trout. Fish on, that's tiny. That's a tiny little fish. Oh no, it's another trout. Oh well. Well, there's another trout, I think. Actually, that tail almost looks a bit forked. So it could be a salmon par. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Off it goes. I don't know what is with these trout today, but they are feeling brave. And I know it's not ideal to be a uh, catching them this time of the year but size three spinners on those tiny little trout normally i'm using size one spinners or sometimes two tops i am weighing up my possibilities my chances of slapping a fly and see on but as you can see down there this is quite a small river quite shallow even some of the pools are quite shallow so i don't think it's going to be my best route just yet anyway maybe i will Fish on. It's another, oh, what is that? I think it might be a slightly better trout, that. Oh, oh no. Sort of hope this fish unhooks itself. That'd be the best outcome. 
There you go. Third trout. Not as pleased as I'd like to be about catching these fish, but straight off. Well, it's a good sign, I suppose, that water conditions are, are good for fish feeding in general. But it's not a good sign for this salmon fishing trip, particularly. Oh, it's a strange phenomenon being unhappy catching fish. Well, I say unhappy, I suppose. Part of me is happy to be having a bit of action, but I would like to be leaving these trout well alone if possible. Just had a follow then. What was that? That looked like a big fish. It was a big swirl. I'm going to take my net and head over to roughly where I saw that. Could be our salmon. Could not. Didn't look like a trout at all though. My guess was either salmon or a big chub that. I mean, even though this isn't going particularly well, it's never a bad way to spend time, is it? Being out fishing and look at this for a beautiful stretch of river I'm on. Absolutely stunning. All we need now is a salmon to be the icing on the cake. Don't know about you guys, but when I'm salmon fishing, I definitely feel an extra sense of anticipation. It's just any moment, all oh, hell could break loose, essentially. Pretty much every time I've had a salmon on the end of my line, it's given me a proper battle. And the majority of the times, that's been a battle I've lost. Fish, oh, <laughs> I didn't even set the hook then because I thought I was taking my spinner out of the water. Do you know when you're just on the way up with it and you get a bite? It was only a trout anyway, so I'm glad that didn't, glad it didn't stay on really. So we're back here. I thought I'd, on the way back to the car, I thought I'd stop everywhere where I had a bit of sort of suspect activity. And I'm not talking just little trout bites, but the places where I saw biggish swirls or maybe felt a bigger knock. It's gonna take an incredible bit of fortune to get salmon today. Fish. That's a nice, what is that? Uh, it's quite a nice fish, whatever it is. I think it's a trout, unfortunately. That said, it's not a bad size one, but this isn't good, really. This isn't good. Let's get this fish in the net. So that right there is an absolutely beautiful trout. Quick unhook, and it's off. Have to admit, after having quite a big swirl in this pool before, when I first felt that bite, I thought there was a chance. In fact, every time I've had a little bite, that you get that split second moment thinking, is it now? Is it happening? But no, it's not. Not yet, anyway. I'm getting ever so slightly annoyed to be honest, it's just, it's ridiculous really how the day that I actively try and choose my lure to reduce my chances of catching trout, I'm catching more trout than I have done this season in one trip. Well, maybe not, but there or thereabouts, you know what I mean, all of a sudden I'm having a, a really productive trout fishing trip when I'm trying not to catch them. I mean, the first one was good for morale, but after that you're just like, I just want to catch a salmon, it's not good to be catching out of season fish, to be honest. And there's always a glimmer of hope when you feel that knock that you've got a salmon on and every single time it's not been, so. Yeah. The salmon fishing trip is going wrong. Fish. Oh, it's just, what is that? It's not a salmon, that's for sure. Oh, why? Why not salmon? I never catch this many trout when I'm even trying to. This is ridiculous. Right, I'm going to get down there. Oh, battery's low. 
I'll get back to you and show you this fish when I can. Another trout. Let's get it back. As always, thank you very much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know a lot of people might not have posted this video or might not be so keen on seeing out a season fish caught, but I just wanted to show that everyone gets it wrong. Not everyone gets it right all the time. Things do go wrong. Things always don't, uh, things don't always go to plan and that's okay. So let me know if you enjoyed this video below. Don't forget to drop a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that button. I'll catch you down the road.